of email because you don't have that. You don't have that kind of uh, upfront uh, cost. It's a lot easier to make it work. Uh, and it can work very hard for you if you apply the same sorts of, of strategies. I'm also thinking, yeah, uh, like the tracking and the ability to, you know, um, change something quickly and easily. Uh, there's, there's so many benefits to, to email as well. But do you, I mean, with, with all those benefits, you know, are there a lot of direct, you know, uh, mailing type uh, businesses who used to do that type of strategy now moving across to email and, you know, is, is there now an opportunity back in, back in direct? I think there's opportunity in all kinds of media. Uh, I mean, there's no shortage of, of different types of media and all of them have their, have their benefits. Um, for sure, all of the, you know, the direct mail companies are all heavily into email. They're doing more email than they ever have before. Um, but there's, there's still opportunity in direct mail as well. Yeah. Well, it sounds like, you know, you, you've transferred and converted over to the email side of things and, uh, you know, it's working really well for you. You're, um, I'd, I'd love to just, you know, dive into to this, uh, you know, topic a little bit deeper in terms of, you know, specifically starting off with, with list building. So, I mean, what, what's the best advice you could give someone who wants to grow their, their list quickly? Hmm. Best advice to grow an email list quickly. Um, let me see. Uh, you know, I, I think an expert interview summit, kind of like what you're doing now, Liam, is a good one. Um, some of your guest experts, I assume, will have email lists and they may be willing to uh, promote your summit. You And you guys can capture email addresses when you're doing a summit, when people sign up for your summit and you can sell recordings of the summit and that way uh, you've got an incentive to your faculty your experts to mail you can pay them a commission on those sales of those recordings when they mail uh, for the summit putting together um, an informative webinar with with an offer at the end is another good way to build lists really fast you can you can shop your webinar around to various influencers in your niche, uh, whatever your niche happens to be, you can get them to promote your webinar. You can pay them a commission again on sales that you make at the end of the webinar. The, uh, the good old product launch uh, is another great rapid list builder. You put together several pieces of uh, pre-selling content behind a, a squeeze page, a page that exchanges information for email addresses. Uh, you can invite a whole bunch of partners with lists to tell their subscribers uh, about your content and then you can enroll the people that sign up for your free content in some kind of a paid program and that way you can pay your partners a commission on those sales. And those are really kind of the lowest risk, fast ways of building a list in my experience. And I would also add that it's really important to begin building your list in regardless of which one of those you choose with the end in mind. And I think too many people build lists with no idea and no skills and no plan about how to monetize the list effectively. You really need to look at, at monetization, I think, when you're doing these kinds of partner-driven list building strategies in the same way that you would think about doing direct marketing, the way you would look at monetizing were you renting direct mail lists or were you buying paid traffic and banner ads and whatnot? And there are certain markets that really that is a better option. I mean, you may not have an active joint venture community in your particular niche, in which case, yeah, you know, you have to become even better at monetization. You have to become an even more savvy uh, email marketer because you're, you're dealing with cold traffic. But I think those first three are really where I would start if you're new to the, the whole game. All right. A, a couple of things kind of stand out to me there in terms of, you know, well, what's similar about each of those kind of, kind of tactics. And, and you, you mentioned them specifically was really, you know, try to create strategic partnerships within your niche to help promote whatever it is that you're looking to promote. Um, and then, Come, coming with that, I think, is the, the referred 
credibility um, from that person. And then also, if it is a live webinar, if it is a, a live summit, uh, it's also that opportunity for the person who's you know, looking to purchase, so your potential client, to get to know you and build on that credibility and trust as well. Uh, are those kind of like the, the two main factors that go into a, a successful kind of like, um, you know, list building strategy? Well, it certainly makes it a lot easier. Um, when you have an endorsement, you'll find that when people come to your squeeze page that they will, they'll opt in in much higher numbers. Um, and once they get inside, if you've been thinking about monetization, they're much more likely to convert and become a customer. So it's certainly the place that I would start if I was new to it and fortunate enough to be operating in a niche that has that kind of a community.